In this video, we solve another example of evaluating an integral using the integration method trigonometric substitution. So we have learned that if we see these patterns in the integral, then we can use substitution by using these relationships. Now for this example, we are to evaluate, for this is the second example, we are going to evaluate the integral x dx over the square root of 16 minus x squared. So we can see that we can rewrite the radicand. We can rewrite the radicand as 4 squared minus x squared. Now, it is important also to note before proceeding, it is also important to note that for the given integral, we can evaluate this directly by using integration by simple substitution. Just for the sake of showing everybody how we can also use another method of solving because we can see the pattern here. Take note that we can see the pattern that this is a that is raised to the power of 2 and this is u raised to the power of 2. So you can, it's it. It follows the pattern here, a squared minus u squared, so we can perform uh, integration by trigonometric substitution. So now we let u, whatever u is x, so we let x be equal to 4 sine of theta, and finding dx, dx equals 4 cosine of theta d theta. Now, Take note that we have to replace all x's in our given integral. We have to express them all in terms of the new variable theta. So we now have x that we can replace to the given integral. And now we have dx. We just have to now express 4 squared minus x squared or 16 minus x squared in terms of a trigo function. But based on the derived equation shown in the previous video, we can say that 16 minus x squared is equal to this one in terms of this expression. So we can rewrite 16 minus x squared equals a squared. a squared is 16. So 16 cosine squared of theta. And we can replace that now in our integral. So we substitute x is 4 sine of theta dx is 4 cosine of theta d theta and for the radical radicand square root of this is 16 cosine squared of theta we simplify so this is 16 sine theta cosine theta d theta and extracting the square root that's 4 cosine of theta we can cancel out cosine theta and divide 16 so that's 4 integral of sine theta d theta so that's already integrable that's 4 times negative cosine theta plus c or negative 4 cosine of theta plus c. That's already the integral, but take note that theta is not our original variable, so we have to express it back in terms of x. Now, where do we get our relationship? By writing or by sketching the right triangle to show the relationships or the ratio of the sides. So this is theta. That's a right triangle. So since x is equal to 4 sine theta, then sine theta is equal to x over 4. Now recall that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Now we label that now in our right triangle. So if this is theta, then the opposite side is x and the hypotenuse is 4. Therefore, the adjacent side is 4 squared minus x squared or 
that is the square root of 16 minus x squared. And therefore, cosine theta is equal to, recall cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the adjacent side is square root of 16 minus x squared over hypotenuse is 4. Now we substitute, that's negative 4 times square root of 16 minus x squared over 4 plus c. Then we cancel out 4. The final answer is negative square root of 16 minus x squared plus c. So we'll be solving another example in the next video.